What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Moonlighter. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today as we go for a little while and continue to dive down into this super awesome game which I am absolutely in love with. I was just going through and taking a look at some of the town investments. It don't look like we have a whole lot of money right now. What happens if I, so those guys are 500, that guy's 5500 and the other ones are pretty expensive. I don't know if I want the other stores just yet. I feel like we're doing pretty well on our own already. I don't think we have too many stop gaps or anything else to jump through. The downshot is that we definitely have to sell some things. We gotta sell some things like right now. Our inventory is a little bit overstacked at the moment. And I don't really know how long it's gonna be able to stay that way. We got some golem thingies over here. I don't know how many of these are gonna stack up though is the worst part. I got I gotta get some bigger storage space, man. I need storage space very, very badly. How do I upgrade my storage space? I wanna be able to carry more things, because I'm a pack rat. You guys have been around on the channel a long time, and I'm one of those players. I tend to pack rat it on up. So inside the shop, let's say that I wanted to have a small chest. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade that for 4,000. I don't think that sounds like too bad of an idea. We get 10% tips right there. We get extra health from our bed. We can also upgrade our spear, actually, which was the other thing I was looking at. We've already got the armor and a bunch of other stuff made. Like, I think we're rocking, so what are we wearing right now as far as our gear goes? Like, we've got ourselves a chest piece, and we've got ourselves... I thought I made the helmet. Maybe I did. It's possible that I made the helmet, and then it just didn't save because I logged off or whatever. Yeah, go ahead and make me the helmet real fast. I want to have the extra HP. And so there's the helmet, and I think we made the botas as well. Are there, like, boots or something? There's gotta be. Yep, there they are. Let's go for those boots right there. That looks good to me. Yeah, sounds fantastic. And so now that we know that we've got everything crafted that we need to have in order to craft, we got our boots, we got our helmet, we're up to 190 HP. Not bad at all, my friends, not bad at all. Let's have a look at this storage chest and see what we got here. So that gave me a whole different tab. Hell yeah, okay. That sounds good, yep, throw everything in there. Do I have any space left for potions? Like, I would love to have a few more potions. I like healing myself, man. I don't like it when I get chewed on by monsters and you end up with those nasty little tooth marks all over you. But it's time for us to dive down into the dungeon. There's not a whole lot left to do with today aside from that. So let's go get some adventure on, see what we can get done. It's day number seven here in our Moonlighter adventure. If you don't have this game, I highly recommend picking it up on the 29th when it comes out. This is amongst some of the best offerings that we've ever seen from indie games. It's that good. It's that much fun, and I do sincerely recommend it. This time around, I think I'm going to push as far as I can down into the dungeon. I don't think I'm going to hold back too much. I'm going to go after whatever I can get. We're going to try and make our way down to the bottom layer about as fast as possible. And I'm not going to slow up much. We're not going to do a whole lot of exploring or anything else like that. I want to get down deeper. I want to find out what's down in this thing. We may run into a boss. It's possible. Bosses are 100% possible and likely. We'll go ahead and wipe that dude out real fast. I need you to go away, please. Yeah, I got him took care of. This dude over here, I'm trying not to eat any hits right now. I would love to not get mashed on. I wonder at some point if I'm going to be able to upgrade my backpack. That's another thing that I've really been wondering, is if the backpack is ever going to be upgradable. Having more stuff in my backpack would be legit. So that needs to be to the left or the right of the bag. That is the exact same thing. Hopefully I can get those decursed before we get too far into the dungeon. There's a little bit of healing right there. I love me some Healy Pools. They make my life a lot easier. We got a red slime over here, although I don't think he's capable of actually dealing damage. I'm pretty sure he just engulfs you so that other things can fight with you, and so nothing to worry about there. Nice and easy peasy lemon squeezy. Up to the top, we got ourselves kind of a big swordsman up here. I don't really want to give him access to me. If I can avoid it, that'd be great. He dropped a couple of golem cores right there, which I'm pretty happy about. We have ourselves a slime room over here, and I think that takes us down to the next level. We are on floor number two already. We made the right selection as far as our door and path movement goes. So we got little slimes over here. Let's go ahead and wipe them out. I would like to pick up another weapon upgrade before I go much further into the dungeon. I do think that that would be pretty rad, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Get out, get out of here. Get out of here, slime. Get out of here. I don't want to know you. You got to say it like Andy Griffith. But Andy, get out of here, slime. I don't want to know you. Get those two down. Dodge out of the way of that. We got a fist on that side. That's my assumption is that his grand plan is going to be to try to run me into one of them fists. 
let's put some heat on that fist right there. Yep, there will be no fisting today in the Nerd Castle. It'll be an ugly day if you were expecting fisting. That dude is down and he's dropped a whole bunch of goodies that we're going to stack up into the profile. If I have to, I will start destroying items because I want to go further down into the dungeon. And I want space for all the goodies that are going to drop down there once we get there. Inside that chest, we've got an unidentified item. I will go ahead and take it. And we've got this guy right here, which... Hold on, let me move that over there so that I can read the box. Destroys one item curse in the direction when placed. Good. Let's put that right there. And we will clear that curse right there so we don't have to worry about it anymore. And then that one destroys one item in the direction upon returning to town. So we want that to be on a wall somewhere, if we can put it there. That probably would have been a much better curse to get rid of, considering that's kind of like a fatal thing. I'll probably take some of these slimes and let's just feed them to the magnifying lens. If I can get paid some money right now, I would not argue about it at all. I don't think I need too many more teeth stones. Like, I think we've got a lot of those. And we can definitely get rid of the sticks. And we can definitely get rid of the twine that we've been picking up. That'll clear out some loverly space for other things that might be worth a little bit more cash. This dude's got me engulfed already. Let's go ahead and kill off his little homeboys here. No. No. Oh, thank you for delivering me to the homeboys so that I might murder them. You thought you would be the instrument of my destruction, but you were the instrument of destruction to all of your relationships. Destroys one item in the direction when you get back to town. Okay, so we'll put that right there. That destroys one item curse in the direction that we're looking at, so that can go right there. That item curse is gone, and that destroys an item curse in that direction. So let's rotate this and play a little bit of Tetris here. And I want this item curse gone on this side. Cool. And that now means that we can stack those together, and we've gotten some very, very nice space. We're getting very lucky on some of our D curses right now, and I think that's solid. What does this say? They are like moths. Like moths to the flame, I tell you. These adventurers, so many attracted to the dungeons, so many to only feel the burn. Luckily, if you pass out in the dungeon from exhaustion or pain, it spits you out eventually. It's a messy ordeal and no one really knows what happens, but one eventually wakes up outside the dungeon with only small traces of slime nearby and, well, any injuries they may have accumulated inside. Yes, some have left the dungeons to never return, but plenty have stuck it out. Many enjoy the thrill of the fight, many looking for that big payday. There really is so much more to these dungeons, though. Yeah, this would be kind of a curious thing if it popped up in the real world. If you had the chance to go down in there and get magical technology and change your life via the infusion of cash, I think a lot of people would take that risk. A lot of people out there, man, you ain't got nothing to lose. You're just trying to get in there and do your thing. I don't really want to hang out with you guys. You guys drop trash loot, and I don't care about it. If you decide at any point to drop something more useful, then... I'll probably give you the time of day. I could have skipped those. I didn't even need to kill them. We got a healing pool right there. I will think about that. Oh, no. That almost went really badly. I almost didn't know how to react to that. Made me panic ever so slightly. I saw that thing coming at me. You see that giant cock knocker knuckle coming at you. You're like, whoa. Slow down there, hombre. God, the spear is so good. It's the best item ever. There is legitimately nothing that I dislike about the spear. It's just all around good. It's just the most good. Ah, I didn't get the third hit off right there. If I can just focus my targeting, we can get that guy and get a whole bunch of tooth stones. We've got some more loot right here. We've got a decursifier right there. I would say that the decursifier is probably best used on this question mark to see if we can stack it. And in fact, we can. So there it is. It has been stackified. Stackinated, as it were. Can you guys stack? Oh, I guess not. Bummer. Okay. Well, that's going to take up our last item stack right there. We want to think about items that we can throw to the book right now. Or, I guess, to the magnifying lens. I'm going to get rid of the slimes. And... That's not what I wanted. I do need to put... Where's my equipment sheet at? I need to have more potions on my quick slot. Can I put five in there? Is that possible? I forgot what the number is. It's been like a week since I played the game last. That's one of the downsides to LPing stuff on the internet. Is that sometimes you take these hiatuses. And it can be very, very difficult to pick up from where you left off. And still knowing, like, what you were working on and what you had going on. There's our next way down. Let's go ahead and take it. We're pushing this time. Remember, we're trying to take this thing as far down as we can take it. 
So the third floor. We've actually got tiles now on the floor. Looking a little bit nicer. We got a couple of slimes over here that are going to be a liability if we can't get rid of them. We got a couple of fists over here, and then we got a gold chest to play around. Ow! That hurts so much! Alright, well, give me all your goodies first. That dude fell into a pit over there, so we don't even need to worry about him. That guy's down, but he's only dropping slime anyways. What's going on inside of here? Oh, we got some better loot. Yes, yes, indeed, sir, we do. I'm gonna get rid of those cursed items. I'm gonna get rid of anything that's cursed, in all honesty. Because I don't feel like dealing with it. We're getting like a slight cash payout, but it's not the best one we've ever hoped for. Those stack to five, so that'll save us a little bit more space. Now, two of these guys, the item breaks if you take too many hits. We have a item curse destroyer right there, which I think, nope, not what I wanted. We'll go right here, and we'll destroy that curse. That's going to be some fabric, which will stack and get us some inventory space back. I will take you. I will. And then we've got Golem Designs right there, and Medium Sleeve sends the item back to town. Yeah, that actually works for this item right here. Let's go ahead and do it. So that goes back to our chest. That destroys a cursed item. Why aren't those stacking properly? Hmm. I'm going to take my chances on those and just leave them out. I am going to bring the Golem Fork, but everything else can stay. The golem chisel, that is. I'm going to see if I can put some heat on this dude's street. I think he can only attack verticals, so... I'm not going to panic too heavily about his damage. He's now down, and we got ourselves a nice fistful of loot again. we got a normal chest over here. That's got ourselves a destroys one item in the direction shown upon returning to town. And so my suggestion would be that we put this right here. Those can stack right there. This guy can go over to there, and then we combine his stack. This guy has to be on the top or the bottom, but I think we can find something to decursify it before too long. We've got another healing pool right there, which will hopefully take a little bit of that knock off of that hit that we took the last time we were up and fighting with the enemy. That right there had a potion inside of it. Sounds good to me. I will take freebie potions. Definitely getting a little hotter in here. Ah, I tried. I got greedy. I tried, and I got punished for it. Those dudes are now down. We're going to swing out over here and see if we can get this dude fitted up for some new shoes. And there it is. And those shoes were made for ass kickings. And that's just what they'll bring. One of these days, those ass kickings are going to make my fella sing. I don't think we have anything else in this room that's looking intensely tempting. Get a little bit more health back right there, though. The boon of having a health pool is never something that I will turn down. That dude's been defeated. He's dropped us a little bit of an iron ingot right there. A lot of people think that ingots come in squares, but actually most ingots are in just random shapes, whatever you've actually got the, the shape to make happen, in all fairness. We've got another chest right here with a whole bunch of random items. we got golem volumes right there. I am going to take some of these dudes. We'll junk them. We'll junk them right there. Probably junk some iron bars until I know that I need them. Because they're not that valuable. Destroys an item curse in the directions shown. Okay. I think that sounds alright. If I move this back over here, will it work on that item? No, you actually have to plan it out. Okay, it has to go inside your inventory first. I was trying to snake the system right there, but hey. Let's see. Destroys one item in a direction upon returning to town. Yep, so that needs to go right there. We'll get rid of that curse. This item immediately sends things back to town. I'll probably send... One of our bigger stacks back, I think. Like, if we got a bunch of stuff in a stack, I don't see a reason why I shouldn't just send that back right now. We also have destroys an item curse in a direction. That one, there's no curse, actually. And so I think I can refinagle this. Let's move this guy right to here. The item in the direction shown becomes this item upon returning to town. Yeah, that'll do it. And so now, that'll stack right there, and that'll stack right there, and yup. Some people probably won't like the inventory management aspect of this game, but I find it to be fun, playing a little bit of Tetris in between your rounds. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't jump him. Put a little bit of jank in his tank. Done. We also have this little laser dude over here. Oh, wow, he's a landmine. Never mind. Okay. Oof. 
They were both landmines. I got a little scarier than I wanted it to get. We got a couple books right there. That's going to destroy an item in the direction as shown upon the return to town. We'll put that in the top right corner so we don't lose anything. That destroys an item in that direction. That one sends items back to town. Send the cloth back to town. I've got a sneaking suspicion we're not going to see too much more cloth on this run. That destroys an item in that direction. That one breaks if I get too many hits. So I need you... to go right there. This automatically sends him back home, so we don't have to worry about the curse. And then that'll stack up rather pleasantly, actually. What is this right here? Oh, it made a noise. Hey, what's up, slime boss? How you doing? What you doing right now, buddy? The Golem King. Okay. I don't know what he's gonna do, but that part looks squishiest. Oh. Rocks fall, the party dies. Ow. Okay, that hurt. Oh my good sweet lord, that hurt. Oh. Okay, get out, get out, get out. We can't do it. We gotta get out. Oh my god. That was quite a bit more deadly than expected. Okay. Wow. That was definitely one of those don't get hit boss fights. Good lord, at least we know what he does now. I gotta dodge roll through that each time it comes by, but by the time I... I had health potions with me, I guess, but I got panicky. I got panicky and I got a scurred. And we got gear over here. We can upgrade that to level 2 with some items that we ain't never seen before. We got a girdle on that side if we can find ourselves some iron. Unfortunately, we ain't got a whole lot of iron right now, so that's not gonna be something that's... I didn't realize that I needed the iron ingots, man. I didn't realize that I needed those. So we got some two stones right here. And now that we've got our stuff all nice and stored away, I don't need golem volumes right now. I'm looking for anything that I have like tons of stacks of so that I can clean up here. We got four of those blueprints. We got some water lamps right there. I'll probably take some of that. We got a broken sling, although I haven't played around with that just yet. I probably should have played a little bit more aggressive with that boss as well. We got five of those ready to go. We've got... Four golem blueprints. We got a couple of golem chisels right there we could probably get rid of. I know we were still searching for the price on those two, and so I'm trying to make money right now. We're going to need upgrades, and we're going to need help. I need somebody. Help. Not anybody. Actually, if we got it once, we can probably get it again, so I'll probably sell most of this stuff. So let's go ahead and get our tables all nice and set up. Uh, we've got our volumes right here. Last time, I think we sold those low, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's go over here for the golem volume. Actually, we had those right on price. People were happy about that, so we don't need to move that around too much. For these guys right here, how do we do on those last time? People like that price too. Okay. On the water lamps, how do people feel about those? They were happy. Okay. And as long as my customers are happy, I am happy. Were they happy on the 100 right there? They were happy on the 100. Let's go ahead and we'll open this place on up and we'll sell some loot. Time for us to get paid, everybody. Let me see if I can track down some other things to sell while they're waiting on me, too. I'll probably get rid of... I can probably get rid of, like, half of those. We'll get some more of them later on. I don't think it's too big of a problem. I think we could probably get away with some gold runes. Now we got those stacked up, too. I can just stack those over there, and it's all good. It is all good, my friends. Yep, you guys need to buy my stuff. Come on over here. Buy some loot. Get that stuff rattling around inside of your bag. Let's get paid. Splatty want to play around with this enemy. I need more armor, man. I need to be able to take a hit. 40 damage a hit means you can't really mess up too much. I mean, we did have the additive benefit of having lots of potions, but... Still a little scary. Oh, really? The price on our water lamp was too low. Alright, well, I'll sell them to you. I put them on the shelf. It's my own fault. We'll go ahead and grab 250 right there. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, trying to get paid up. I'm going to go ahead and drop the runes in there. Do I have those prices good at 150? 150 is way too low on those, and so we'll mark these up. Nope, that's not what I wanted. We will mark these up to, let's say, 220 and kind of see what happens. We'll move those over, and those are at 350. At 350, people were happy. Those guys right there, 
I haven't done anything with the golem chisels. So let's start out at a thousand and just kind of see what happens on that front. I don't want to underprice them. Like, I know those are worth something because they're a crafting material that goes into just about every piece of gear that you make. And so having those properly priced is very, very important to me. Gotta refill that pouch, man. We lost a lot of money on this go. I wonder if the block is useful against that attack. I wonder if I actually nerf myself on that little slime attack he was using by not having a shield. I'm curious. I'm very, very curious. Alright, she's happy with the price right there. We got it squared away just right. Hopefully somebody comes in and wants some of them gold runes. We haven't actually made that much money today. We made a little bit, but I'm trying to... Oh, the gold runes are still low. I bumped them up by 70 or 80, and they were still real low. Okay, a thousand's a little high on those. That's all right. Let's go ahead and we'll mark those down to 700-ish, and we'll see what happens. See if that rotates anything around and makes our life a little bit easier, if it makes it a little bit more attractive to the customer. There's no way to tell until you give it a couple rotations. But a nice little 3,500 gold infusion right now would be fantastic. Still a little too high. Okay. So they didn't like 700. Let's take it down to 400. We'll be a little bit more aggressive in our pricing down now. What you got for me, beardy people? I know you got something for me. Come on, let's make this deal happen. There it is, we found the price. See, it just takes some work. You just gotta fiddle with it. Trial and error, that's the stuff. So we'll sell that off right there. I gotta place some more objects over here. Did they like those at that price? They did. All right, sounds good to me. Somebody come buy my weird little floaty module. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's made out of magic and pixie dust and will make your life better. This right here, it's like fortune dust. It always makes your life better. Nothing bad can happen when it's in your backpack and you will instantly pass all of your college finals. There we go. Now we're good. Alright, so I've sold off just about everything that I can possibly sell. We made a decent amount of money. We sold our water lamps a little bit low and I think we probably could have gleaned another 800, 900 out of that stack that we sold. But hey, that's life. Inside of here, we still got some things and so let's say that... Let me, let me get a mental picture right now of what I need to upgrade some of my gear... So I'm thinking weapons, armor, like anything else I can get my hands on would be great. So we got swords and shields over here. We got big swords. For this guy, we need a few more forks or a few more chisels. And then we'll be able to add 40 elemental damage right there. Uh, we do need one of those little, I don't know, it looks like a quarter inch cable to me. But we need one of those in order to upgrade that down that tree as well. And more iron to get another spear. I'm a collector, man. When I play games like this in Monster Hunter, I like to have like one of every single weapon in the game. That's always what I shoot for. Always. Let's go ahead and we'll spend a little bit of money to get him to move into town. Cannot request this character during the night. Oh, really? You can only do it during the day. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Huh. I'm actually really curious about that. What are enchantments? Like, let's say that I wanted to enchant my gear. Oh, you can actually make it better. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, enchant my boots. I like that there's always something that you can spend money on in this game. Like, it never feels like... Like, it never feels like the economy is, like, against you. That'll raise my damage up to 27, but I need more empowering crystals. Okay, what about buying off some potions? What you got for me? I'm trying to go in after a boss right now, so... I'm trying to have lots of potions for the learning curve, just in case things go super rowdy. Which, knowing the nerd castle, they probably will. Things don't tend to go well for me, man. That's just the way my life, it seems to go. I don't get to pick. I don't get to choose. It just kind of goes that way. On the plus side, we got a bunch of defense now, which is pretty awesome. What did I leave inside my backpack? Just potions? God, I hope it was just potions. Yep, it's just potions. We got enough. All right, so let's get back down in here. And we got work to do, Nerd Castle. We have work to do. And while we head down that way, I think that I personally, uh-oh, that's not good. Yeah, you stay away from me, slime man. You stay away from me right now. I don't want to mess around with anything that you're selling. 
You are a, a dirty, rotten fool, and I don't want to know you. Hey, empowering crystal right there. We'll absolutely take that. If I get one or two more, we can enchant our spear and make it better, although the question does remain, like if we're just planning on upgrading it to a different body type anyways, like why bother? There's the second floor stairs. Nice. I'm trying to get there quick. I'm not trying to waste time on this one. I'm trying to get back down here and try this boss out. Whole bunch of enemies right there that technically I don't even need to fight. Ow. Dude, my aim is way off with this dude. Oh, he's swanging him. He's swanging him. He got me. He got me bad. He got me bad, coach. Pull me. I've been wounded. I feel like I'm getting sloppy right now. I'm going to get out of this corner. I'm going to line these dudes up for the beating. Perfect. Bunch more iron bars right there, which actually we ended up needing. I was, I thought we were past that as far as crafting materials go, but I guess I was wrong. A few more teeth stones right there. And we've got some golden runes. It's interesting. I think those only stack to four if they're inside of the chest. But if you mess with them otherwise, I don't think they work no more. Like, they don't stack up the way that they're supposed to. Yeah, it's good enough. I'll take that. So far, we actually haven't picked up a whole lot of cursed items. What's this way? Let's... I actually don't even need to mess with this right now. I'm out here looking for the gateway to get up out of this predicament. I know you want to take a swing at me. I can tell. It's like everything about you says you want to take a swing at me. Maybe it's the fact that you're a giant fist. But that makes me think that, like, this guy wants to take a swipe at me. Uh, destroys that item upon returning to town. Okay. Destroys one item and destroys one curse. I'm going to drag you over to there. And I don't really want this broken weapon, but I do want that curse gone. And so, there we go. That destroys an item in that direction, but I don't think it's going to be that paramount that I stack things perfectly. Let's get rid of some of these leafy greens over here. Let's sell one of those and see what it is. It sold for 73, so it's got to be something good. 73 is a pretty good price in this game. I don't know how we glitched our way through that, but I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question it. I kind of felt like we should have ate that hit, but we didn't. And I'm just going to take the boons that the gods of Moonlighter decided to give me and just roll with it. Ow. I don't really feel like dealing with you, Mr. Rando Turret. Ah! He's just working us. He's working us. Who knew that that configuration of a room would be so obnoxious with him right there? Who knew? Yeah, let's go ahead and throw down a little potion action right there. I think we going to need it. And then we're going to go up to the top, and this is going to be the end of our Moonlighter episode. We saw the first boss. We were unsuccessful in our attempted elimination of him, but we tried real hard. And according to my mom, that's all that counts. So anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for Moonlighter. Really, really glad that you decided to hang out for the day. I show off indie games on the internet every single day for your perusal. Hopefully you'll find something you like here. If you don't like what you saw today, check back tomorrow. You'll probably see something new. I sift through the indie game pile so that you can find what's worthwhile and not waste your time and hard-earned money getting bad games. Moonlighter is very, very good, and I'm very excited about this game. I have no complaints. I think this game is assembled magnificently. And so anyways, if you wanted to come back, I'll probably have another episode up in a day or two. I am planning on playing this one a little bit longer than other games, simply because I just like it. Normally I just do impressions on the channel, but this time around, I really, really like this game. Hi to everybody, and I will see you next time.